Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are all doing really good. As you can see by the last clip, I did the weekly clean on the leaf insects this morning and picked out all of their eggs. They are still laying eggs like crazy. There's one hanging out of her butt right now and I still have a lot of them. I put all of these spare ones in this container and then these are all of my ones in this container. I think there's about 20 or 30 that I collected in here ready to go if anyone does want them. You can message me on my Instagram if you are genuinely interested, but I've mostly been selling them to people that already have stick insects or leaf insects, which is good, but they are still laying them like crazy, and every day I'm picking out so many eggs, so we're gonna be overrun with leaf insects, but I love them so much, so I don't really mind. So today is one of those days where I just have a bunch of things I want to get done. The next thing I think I'm going to do is paint the wine racks to go in the rat cage. That probably sounds so weird out of context, but if you remember the video I did where I showed you guys things you can get from Ikea to put in your rat cage, the wine rack was one of those things. I also picked up a second one from eBay. It's a slightly different shape. I think it was about the same price. So if you prefer that one, I'll leave that linked in the description as well. But the other one is from Ikea and I want both of them to go in the cage at some point. So I need to paint them to make sure that if they do pee on them, they're kind of coated. And then I do need to cover them in some sort of protective waterproof coating. Not too sure yet how that's gonna work, but I do need to paint them to match the color scheme in my rat cage. So I think we're gonna do that next. So yeah, that's what I hope to get up to today. There is gonna be something really cute later on in the video, so please stick with us because I think it's gonna be really cute. So this is the first wine rack. This one is the one from Ikea. And I was gonna use this brand of paint, Rust-Oleum. It is safe for painting children's toys and furniture because it is non-toxic, so it's technically safe for painting items for your animals as well, but when this arrived, I wasn't expecting it to be as small as it is. And I think I would need a couple of tubs of this to cover everything, and it was about five pounds per tub, which is just far too expensive for the size of the paint you get. So I did send this one back because I just didn't want to spend that much money on paint and I did find another alternative. So instead, I'm just gonna use these non-toxic washable children's paints from Wilco's. These are about one pound per bottle, which is a much better price for how much paint you get. I probably will have to do a couple of coats just to get the effect that I want, but I've got blue, green, and white, and I'm just gonna mix them together to make a nicer color, and fingers crossed this works as a good alternative. So it is completely up to you whether you want to spend that much money on a paint. Personally, I'm far too stingy for that, and I did want to use a cheaper paint instead, but that is there as an option if you were wanting to paint something. There are paints on the market specifically for that. One eternity later. Okay, so here is the finished result. That took me so much longer than I was expecting it to. I had to do a couple of coats and I still don't really love it. It looks kind of patchy, but the rats won't care and I'll just try not to look too closely at it, but it's blue, that's the main thing. Um, it's not entirely finished. I do need to add some sort of coating to it to make it kind of waterproof and just seal it a little bit. So I will do that another day. I do also have another wine rack to paint. I think I might do the next one green just to switch it up because I'm so sick of staring at blue paint, but we're gonna move on and do the next one now. And finally, I think we're done. I do need to add the plastic coat, but it's not been delivered yet. So when that does arrive, I will show you the finished result. Okay, so it's me from the future. My plastic coat finally arrived from Amazon. Again, this is safe to use with children's toys, so it should be safe to use with animals. And I will just be coating both of the wine racks in this to protect it if they do decide to pee on it. And I will probably show you the final result in a future video. If you are trying to do the same thing that I am, I will leave the link to this down in the description if you want to pick this up as well. hiccups <laughs> and look hey baby oh good boy also the secret of every youtuber is that we always wear pajamas on the bottom because you guys usually don't see that and we're super lazy but i just went downstairs to get the spaghetti that we had left over from last night because i thought it'd be really cute crumbles here he knows what's up I thought it'd be really cute to film the rats and the mice eating some spaghetti because it is always really cute and you guys deserve that so 
we're gonna go ahead and give that to them now. He's already very excited because he's a very greedy boy. <laughs> I wanted to say a massive thank you to any of you that watched the last vlog and made an order on the store because of that. You guys have made a couple of the items go out of stock really quickly, which is amazing and I do need to stock back up on them sometime soon. But as you can see, I've made some progress with packaging up some of the orders. I thought it might be interesting if I showed you the process of me packaging some up. If you're not interested in this segment, I will put a timestamp on screen. You can skip to this if you're not interested, but I thought it might be interesting to show it in today's vlog. So this next order is going to Denmark and they've ordered cherry flavor popcorn, banana flavor popcorn, apple flavor popcorn, whimsy toothbrushes, and also a yellow wooden nibbler. Next, I'm just putting in all of the items. So the first thing they ordered was all of the different flavors I have of the popcorn, you've got the cherry popcorn, and then also the apple popcorn, and then also the banana popcorn. These are really popular in my store because all different sorts of small animals really enjoy these, obviously in moderation, but I also love using these with my pets as well. to go in is the yellow wooden nibbler. These are great for using in your rat's cage to give them more things to climb on on the bars. And I do have these in pink, green and yellow. I don't have them in blue, I will try to find them, but the yellow ones also look pretty cool too. So the last thing in their order is the Whimsy Chews and these are originally sold as dog chews, but they also make really good chews for mice, hamsters, rats. They are relatively healthy and they do seem to enjoy them. So whoever's order this is, I hope whatever animal you're using them with enjoys them too. One more thing that's gonna go in the box is just a thank you note from me because I get so excited and appreciate every single order. So that's gonna go in as well. Obviously the last thing I do is put the person's address on there but I'm not going to show that because I'm not about to leak any of your information. So the next order is from Jenna and this one is going to Finland and they've ordered Niblox Berry Treats, Malt Paste, Whimsy Toothbrushes, the Cherry Flavoured Popcorn, 
Niblot's carrot treats, Niblot's apple treats, a red tough tube, a green wooden nibbler, and then also one of the green living world houses as well. So now that that's done, I just need to take them all to the post office and they are absolutely gonna hate me. I don't know why they get so mad when you come in with so many parcels, but you guys absolutely blew out the park and ordered so many orders overnight. So I now need to take these and do the walk of shame into the post office and hopefully they won't be too mad at me. Oh, I just sat on my hairbrush. So this is pretty much it for today's video. Do let me know down in the comments if you prefer seeing, well not prefer, but if you like seeing this kind of video and you want me to do more of them because I will probably invest in, sorry I'm just getting my hairbrush out from under my butt. If you want to see more vlog type videos I will probably invest in a better camera that I can carry around with me to do that for you. But before we go, the thing I did want to quickly mention, which obviously doesn't apply to all of you, is the fact that I have switched over from using Patreon to the YouTube memberships instead. So I did just want to quickly mention that for any of you that weren't aware, I have switched over, I'm no longer using Patreon, I am using the YouTube membership, and that does appear as a little blue button underneath every single video. I don't think you can see it on mobile, it does have to be on desktop, but it's next to the subscribe button and every single video, and it just says join, and that's how you access the membership option on YouTube instead. So the reason I decided to switch over to this instead of using Patreon is I found the features on Patreon quite limiting. There was a few things I wanted to do that I couldn't do and I can now do those on the YouTube version instead. So hopefully all around it's gonna be better for everyone. Having it in one place and we can do a lot more things than we could when we were using Patreon and hopefully I can post a lot more things for you. So some of the features that I like the best on the new YouTube membership option is you can have your own custom emojis and custom icons for members that show up in chats and I think comments which is really cool. I've designed all of these myself and drawn them on my iPad Pro and I think they've turned out really cute so that's an exciting feature that I didn't have before that I think is really cool and the main reason that I wanted to switch over to using YouTube memberships is I really want to get into doing more live streams because I did them I think in my first year of YouTube and then we moved to this house and the Wi-Fi was absolute trash upstairs. I couldn't really use my phone or my laptop upstairs but I have fixed that now and I really want to start getting back into doing live streams. I love talking to all of you on a more personal level and I did really enjoy when I used to do live streams so that's another feature of the membership option that I hope to utilise more this year. As much as I enjoy doing live streams it can be super hard to read all of the chat and answer every single person's question. It goes so quickly that you can't even read and pick out like one person's thing because it goes so quickly and I find that quite stressful. Another thing that I didn't really like about live streaming is sometimes, somehow, there would be weirdos that I don't even think are subscribed to the channel that would find the live stream and they'd comment really inappropriate things, racist things, other things that just weren't nice and I don't want you guys seeing that either and obviously when you're live streaming it's really hard to monitor the chat and kick those people out so that was another reason I wanted to do member only live streams so you guys don't have to deal with that and it is a more personal live stream instead. So yeah I just wanted to mention that quickly obviously you don't have to join if you don't want to please don't feel like this is me asking you to join it's just there as an option if you do want to support me additionally you subscribing is enough by itself but to anyone that was using Patreon I have now switched over to using the membership option if you didn't see my post on Patreon saying that I'm not using that anymore I have now switched over to YouTube instead. So yeah, I'm super excited to start live streaming again. I'm probably a bit out of touch with it because it's been so long. But I do like talking to you guys and I really want to start chatting to you more this year. I also love meeting you guys outside. And I did do that a little bit last year, but now that I have a car, which is super exciting, I don't think I ever mentioned my struggles on YouTube, but it took me a year and a half of lessons and five times to pass my driving test, which is kind of embarrassing, but it's happened now, I've finally done it. And I have bought myself a car. By the time you're watching this, I should be picking it up, fingers crossed. So that means I can go out and about and film more things, possibly. I am super awkward, so I don't know how well that's going to go, but I can start to go more places and hopefully get to go places where I can meet you guys again too. But yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about in today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe to see any more animal-related videos from me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!